Hi guys, what's up everybody? I hope you're all doing fantastic, you guys. I'm excited because my baby is here and I'm being treated like a queen at Maristop is Lee. By the way, guys, let me uh, admit something. I had not known about Maristops as a hospital where you can come and deliver your baby. I actually thought it's like a family planning clinic or something like that. I had never thought of it as a hospital where you can come and deliver. And by the way, even sharing with my friends, like my sister was surprised, like you can deliver from there. Like it's a, like they have a theater, like, oh my God. So I'm excited to share with you because I'm being treated well here. And I think everybody, if you are like around Nairobi and you're looking for an affordable hospital where you can deliver your baby and get treated well, I think this is the hospital for you. I delivered my baby through CS yesterday at night. In today's video, I'm going to share my day with you. This is day two hospital stay although it feels like the first day because <laughs> i came here yesterday at six uh but anyway i want you people to spend the day with me today in the hospital i'm going to be vlogging i hope you learn a thing or two and to begin with i want to give you a room tour we are in a private room the room is costing 2500 and i want you to see what 2500 will get you here at Mary Stops. I feel it's such an affordable hospital and I am, I'm so at home and I feel so good. So I want to share this whole experience with you guys. Um, time in Mesonga Kidogo, it's around 10 right now. I've already taken breakfast. Um, but we proceed from there my mom is coming to see me uh he's coming with the boys so i can't wait to see their reaction as well so yeah just stay with me and like this video subscribe in case you haven't and shout out to everyone at Mary stops they are they are just the best they're just the best so let's see where the day takes us so this is the entrance door to the room and right next to it is the uh, toilet and that's how it's looking we have a tissue a bin a hand washing area and uh, the shower it's a hot shower i've enjoyed uh, showering although you call a passport because i can't yet uh, shower and there's a mirror there so immediately you come from the door, you find uh, the washroom and that's how it's looking. And then moving forward, uh, here we have, I think that's supposed to be baby's bed, I'm not sure. <laughs> and we have the bins here. This room is so clean, I love it. Um, that's the bed and that's my baby right there i'm so excited of course i'm on drips i don't know whether that is no more saline or i don't know but uh, that's one of the things that i'm being given <laughs> then from there we have this small cabinet uh, they gave us the warmer to put uh, to keep us warm the window is right there and this this actually looks more of like a, a small fridge but it's actually just a storage area so there i have my uh, supplies and baby pampas and then down there i have a big can you open for me please down there i have my bags and just random stuff <laughs> yeah so that's how it's looking and then right here we have uh this is where babe spent the night it's like a kamini bed um so if you're having someone or bathing partner at least they have somewhere to lay their head that's how it's looking and then we have you know more seats so there that's the door and we have a TV to keep you entertained. And that's basically how 
the room is looking. Let me try and do a 360. Yeah. I want to be showing you what I'll be eating. I delivered my baby through CS yesterday at night. And I know most people keep on asking, what should I eat after CS? What should I not eat? So in my stay here, I'm going to be sharing with you what I'll be eating. To begin with, this was supposed to be an elective CS. And the doctor had advised me not to eat anything uh, like for six hours before surgery. But anyway, it ended up being an emergency surgery because my water broke. So I reported yesterday and I had not taken, the last time I, I taken food was around 2, lunchtime. And when I came, uh, of course they knew it is going to be now surgery. So they, I didn't eat anything since I reported here yesterday at around 6. And then we went for, for surgery uh, at around 9. Then coming from surgery, they started giving me the drips. Uh, normal saline, sometimes, what, I, what, what was I given in the morning? Glucose or something. Okay, just fluids to keep me um, hydrated. Uh, but the first thing that I was given uh, was warm water to take and it was like nine hours after surgery. And then after taking the warm water gradually, not like all of it once, just gradually after like 30 minutes, I was now given breakfast, which was basically tea and bread. That was around 7. So right now, it's at 10 in the morning, and I've just been served with porridge right here. Yeah, it's it's hot, and I the best thing about porridge, it helps you stimulate, it helps to stimulate milk production. So... Right now, I've already started breastfeeding my baby. Um, there is something coming out, <laughs> of course, which is colostrum. Uh, and now we are taking porridge. Let's wait and see what they're going to serve us for lunch. Of course, I will share with you. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Guys, my babies are coming together with mom. I want to see their reaction. So let me turn the camera towards the door and then we see Kwanza Asha, I can't wait <laughs> to see how he'll react meeting his brother. Yay! Can I see baby? Oh, hi Asha. Mm, so on day two, this is what I'm having for supper, greens, ugali, and meats. Um, it has come in quite late, so I'm so hungry. Right now it's about nine. But yeah, this is what we are taking. And of course, I'm taking water. I'm trying my level best to stay hydrated because I've not yet gone for a long call and um, I need to be ready for that. So hydration is important. So I'm obviously on lots and lots of medication. <laughs> Painkillers, um, antibiotics. So that those are like I've been injected one painkiller, although 
honestly speaking, that's like the best part of CS because you're dying of hunger to a failure. Wow. <laughs> honestly. And then there's this one that I'm supposed to insert. And then right now, I think I'm being given a drip. Uh, is antibiotic. So, yeah. I'm really, really being dragged up, but it's for the best. By the way, uh, that's when you know yes. But otherwise, you're just good with the uh, painkillers. The only pain na skia ni maybe ni nikitembea cause bado sijapata energy vizuri ama nikiamka cause you know it takes the stomach muscles to wake up and they're the ones that uh, work out you know so that's how it's going so far so good though <laughs> yeah and my baby is sleeping right there I'm happy I'm grateful to God so guys for today's breakfast nothing major um, I feel the breakfast is very basic, honestly. Uh, we have bread and we have uh, choc uh, drinking chocolate. That's all. So um, for the breakfast, it's just really, really the common stuff. And yeah, but this is a whole lamos of chocolate. So I guess that will help with milk production. So I'm ready to go home now. And this is the final meal of the day. Let me show you. So this is it. Dengue, uh, rice and cabbage. Uh, that's how it's looking.